I met Thomas um, while I was learning how to be a certified foster parent um, in the Native American community in the 50s and 60s. Over a quarter of the population of all Native American children lived in foster and adoptive homes because the belief was that Native American people didn't know how to take care of their children and that other folks could do it better. It wasn't until 1978 when the Indian Child Welfare Act came into place that we started to have a few more rights around our children. But Thomas and I are looking at opening our homes and many other people for children. We have incredibly high rates of African American and Native American children who are not in the homes they need to be in. And that's one of the issues that I work on when I have time off from the Office of Neighborhood Involvement, which is, we call it my free time, <laughs> as if there is any. This has been a hard couple months. As we talk about budget cuts and we watch people come in and out and we see more homeless people, because they come into City Hall where we work and I have some city co-workers there as well. It can be a very depressing time and generally when we come here, we come here to congregate, to gain strength back from all of our other brothers and sisters who have come across the ocean and from all of these other places. We come to welcome them. We come to hang out together. We come to love on each other. Because life for a lot of us right now is really, really hard. I want to make a recommendation. If you watch the news and you know the news, the news repeats and repeats every 10 minutes, only watch it once. <laughs> watch the first loop and then turn it off or put on music or do something else. <laughs> because it can be really depressing. This is a poem I wrote about my response to listening to people talk about Cesar Chavez Boulevard in Portland. Cesar Chavez Boulevard in Portland. <laughs> To the families of Mr. Broadway, Grand, and Miss 39th. As a Native American, she who watches, I must share with you a secret. One of the things that makes me laugh is when people talk about sustainability as if it is something new. Greenhouse gases, climate change, or its predecessor, global warming, green economy and the triple social bottom line. While the New Deal buzzwords fly, some are so proud to create them, even if they have had little meaning to most. Again, from me who watches, I'm amazed that with all these things, we can't change the name of one street. I hear, Cezanne Chavez Boulevard? You must be kidding me. This is America, man. They say, we can't di disrespect Mr. Broadway, Mr. Grand, or Miss 39th. <laughs> they did such significant things for our community. I think it was Mr. Grand, that great man, who gave up his life, inspiring millions around the world to stand up, to speak out. Oh no, that was Cesar. Mr. Grand was not that man. Then maybe it was that famous Mr. Broadway who led so many to freedom, who fasted for the suffering of others, who showed us all how to win. All of us, every color and compassion. No, that too was Cezanne. And let's be real, 39th? is a number. <laughs> what about these discussions do you not see as supremacy? Streets are made of asphalt. The names are not nearly as old as the native paths that cross this land. For thousands of years, while roads are temporal, spirits are eternal. It is with great sadness that I laugh at the ridiculousness, the excuses, the racism that happens in my own homeland. I am at many times ashamed of the decisions we make in the name of others. 
who have convinced themselves that their words are not lies when they are blinded by their privilege and their lack of education. They deny racism, sexism, classism. They simply cannot be imperfect. They cannot be wrong, insensitive, rude, arrogant, clueless. If this is you, which I know is none of you, no, I pray for you. Daily, we have our prophecies too about you. This land has been cursed since the first drop of blood soaked into the earth, not in the name of God, but in the name of greed. Cesar lives for all who strive for justice. 